29 years later, GBN is back in Concord, St. John, for an accident that hit a little close to home for one citizen. It was a narrow escape for Mr. Emmeline Paul, who is a farmer, as an unforeseen accident was looming. Though the incident did not occur along the main road, Mr. Paul says, it was just as nerve-wracking. He relayed the near-death experience to GBN on Thursday. Yesterday, I just come and park the van there, as usual, we used to park. I bring two animals, and they just, when I did, and I put the animals down there, when I come back up in the van now to go, I just see the bush start to move. So I think it was a goat. We were running on it, so I, because I did in the van already. So when I, I did, I just see this thing drop in the road, bam. So when it drop in the road, I watch it, but it just come on me, blam. He mash up the front of the van. I say big stone, so I call my son and I tell him, well, run. I watch the van, he ball, jaw. <laughs> forget about van. I say, alive. Because if, if it hit me, by here, so forget, I'll know, so they caught me to take they caught in the van to take me out. Because he go on the van, the, the weight of the stone. You understand? Though his life was spared, his new addition to his livestock did not receive the same luck. His son, Shikwani Mark, who was tending to the animals at the time, explained his encounter. Down there, Daddy was standing up there talking to me to, to tell me to do certain things. And he come up in the van and then he was inside. So I stand up there watching, getting ready to do what I had to do. And then I just see this thing, I had to do a piece of wood. So when I, when I did down there, watching it coming down, I say, what, Daddy, watch the van, watch the van. He drop in the road, he bongs the van. You are coming down, I stand up by the bucket there still. When he bongs the stone, I say, mm mm, you come down. So I run. And my brother, run and then he go and lie down on two pigs and we have to chuck, chuck out them two pigs under the stone. They had the under the stone crying for help. We had us to, we had us to do something. Wednesday's incident has put a halt business for the upcoming holiday season, as this is his livelihood. Most time is coming there, and the van mash up. We can we have to joke be something, and we can't really move around with the van right now. With this stone come down again, and kill me, they dead, 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 dead now. Problem. We can die one my foot, die one my foot, my main foot. And if that happen. Mr. Paul said that anyone willing to assist him with the repairs to his vehicle will be appreciated. Chrislina John, GBN News.